Hello, welcome to the Crafty Canary. This is Jennifer Kelfie with your tip of the day. Today I'm going to show you how to fluff out a pillow when you put an insert into a pillow or a form into a, a pillow cover, how you can get it to fill the whole pillow. This is just a trick that over years of making many pillows, um, I kind of developed or picked up from my mother. I think probably I learned it from my mother. She owned a drapery business for years and years and she's a wonder wonderful seamstress and she probably taught me how to do this. Everything I know I learned from her so she probably did. But anyway I've just finished this cover and I wanted to show you a little bit of how I do make them before I turned it right side out. But I do I want to show you I surge the edge um, with my serger so that when you wash these that edge is not going to ravel in the wash and then you have a bunch of strings you have to worry about after you've washed them. So these are washable and so you can, you know, take them off the pillow if they've, especially if they've been outside or even on the sofa, you can take them off the pillow, put them in the wash, dry them, store them for next year and they won't ravel. So I have made my pillow. I'm going to turn it, my pillow cover, I'm going to turn it right side out and then I'm going to show you how I get the corners out. Now this my mom, again, is excellent at this. I've never been as good as her at doing this, but I have a tool that I use that they make specifically for this. I got it years ago, so I'm not even sure what the store would call this. Maybe a corner poker, corner turner. I don't know what it's called, but it's just a wooden stick. So if you have like a wooden skewer, just be careful. You might even sand the point down a little bit because you don't want it to be super pointy because uh, you don't want to poke a hole in the corner. So we're going to come in and just gently get those corners square. If you don't have one of these, um, you might be tempted to use a pencil, but I would warn you against that because you don't want the um, point to poke a hole or put lead even on the inside, but especially if it pokes through, you're gonna have some lead on it and it'll probably wash out, but you still don't want that on there. Maybe a mechanical pencil that um, the lead is not poked through. Um, and also, if you have a pair of good scissors, now again, you don't want the point to be too pointy. My good sewing scissors I'm not gonna use because they're very pointy, but this is a little more blunt so and rounded on the end, so I can use it and it'll work. A little bit better so I get the, the corners poked out unzip it all the way I've got uh, Christmas pillows that Joe bought off of uh, the internet and I will show you I haven't washed these yet but these are not surged on the edges so when I put that in the wash that raw edge is going to ravel it's gonna um, have strings all over the place. And one, if you have bought some on the internet or bought some somewhere that they weren't surged, one helpful hint would be to zip it up when you wash it. And that way that at least keeps them from going all over the rest of your laundry. Uh, so that's gonna go in the wash. Now I take my pillow form. This one actually has a zipper as well. I'm not sure if it's just got fluff inside or another pillow. Yeah, it's just got stuffing, but it has a zipper. I guess you can wash this too. I'm going to try to get that zipper on the top so it's not in competition with my zipper down here. So I'm going to stuff it in. Sorry, you can't see in my lap. I've got the camera tilted down as far as I can get it, and hopefully it's not going to fall down in the middle of this video. But get it in. Now, if I were to zip that up, there's, you know, the corners are not stuffed good. It doesn't, you know, it just doesn't look good. So instead of zipping it up yet, I'm going to take my hand and grab the corner of the pillow form and pull it into the corner of my cover. Do that on all four. My hand down in there. Now zip it up. Being careful not to zip the fabric of the form in my good zipper there. Now still, I'm not satisfied with that. It's still a little gathery, crunchy. It doesn't feel all the way full to me. So this is the trick that I've learned. And I'm doing it in my lap. My lap is down here. I know you can't see it, but I just beat it. I do that, turn it, do all four sides. And now I'm happy with that. 
I like a pretty stuffed pillow. I don't like it, you know, the whole decorator thing where people do that. I think that looks silly. I like it to be nice and poofed out. So I do that. If you like it, you know, with the crack in the middle, that's totally fine. You can do that. But that's how I like it, and that's how I get it nice and fluffed out. So I hope you've enjoyed my tip, and have a great day. Thanks. Bye.